Hey guys, what's up, what's good, what is going on? It's me, Kitty on a Leash, here with a manga review. And today we have the first volume of Devilman G Grimoire. Hmm. Pretty interesting, let's check it out. I've always heard about the Devilman series, but never actually got into it. I've never read any manga, never watched any of the anime, so maybe this is a good place to start. I don't know, we'll see. So, Devil Man G. Grimoire. Basically, a grimoire is a book of magic, a book of spells, forbidden dark stuff that you're not really supposed to be getting into. So that's kind of what the title comes from. So, this story is done by Go Nagai, which I'm sure you all know is like the godfather of bloody, violent, like terrifyingly just awesome, like, nudity, all this other stuff in manga. Like, he basically paved the way for people to have so much violence and nudity and just all this grotesque stuff in manga. So, much respect to the guy. Yeah. Although, the, the art is actually done by a Ryu Takato. The story of Devilman Grimoire follows two main characters. We have our main main character who is Akira. He's just a boy who, I don't know, just a pretty seemingly normal boy. Nothing really sticks out about him. He's not a super big extrovert, not a super introverted kid. He's just a normal guy. And he has his best friend whose name is Miki. And Miki is a witch. Well, she thinks she is. <laughs> and she's been a witch ever since she was in, like, middle school, elementary, always trying to play around with magic and cast spells and stuff. And most people kind of look at her as just like, oh, that's just fun play. You know, she's not serious. She's not really a witch. And so on and so, so forth. So Mickey and Akira have been friends for ages. They're, like, this type. Miki acquires a special ring. And this ring is the Ring of Solomon. She says that with this ring, she should be able to summon demons and evil spirits and all these other things that most people wouldn't want to mess with, but she's a witch, so she knows exactly what she's doing, and she's going to do it. In the meanwhile, they live in this world where basically there are demons that live among people. I don't know if it's common knowledge to, you know, everybody, but there's definitely demons going around killing people stealing their souls, just leaving absolute wreckage in their wake, and so on and so forth. So the manga opens with two, like, it's like these two people, they're out on a date, come to find out the girl basically ends up eating the guy, like it's like a complete crime scene <laughs> that you see. And there was another guy, and apparently he's a demon too. So they're both like these demon creatures, and they both get into like this brawl. And it's really, really interesting. Um, the artist, he, he has like these really cool designs for demons. Like there's this one, he's like a tortoise lizard thingy, and on his, the back of his skull, it has like the faces of the souls that he's taken and the lives he's taken, and then the woman, like, she's got, basically, her pubic area is, like, a huge, scary, basically, her pubic area is, like, a, a monster with, like, this huge tongue, and it just wants to eat and kill things. So, yeah, it, it, it's pretty weird, but, I mean, the designs are A+, plus, super creepy stuff. So, anyway, um, in the meanwhile, like I said, there's these demons going around and stuff, killing people, so you kind of get a little bit of that side of the story mixed in with our main characters. Anyway... One day, some girls at school approach Miki, and they're like, hey, like, you know how to summon spirits and stuff. Let's summon the spirit of, like, I don't know, something. I don't know if it was, like, a friend or something that had died, or if they just want to, like, play with her, to mess around with her, basically. But anyway, Miki takes it very seriously. She draws up the pentagram and does all the stuff, and, oh, spirits come forth. And the girls are just kind of like, okay, this is totally a joke. Like, nothing's obviously going to happen. And then... <laughs> something does happen. She basically does something that just opens up a whole can of worms. Like there's, there's the demons and they come out and they're, they're killing each other and they're trying to kill like the girls and stuff. And it is a terrible situation. Our 
main character, Akira, is just defenseless, but he knows he wants to, like, try and protect Miki. And mind you, this is the first time that Miki has actually done something that has actually summoned some unworldly being. And, you know, Akira, he tries to help, but doesn't really get to do anything. And then these demons are out, they're unleashed, and it's just a pretty scary situation. Then out of nowhere, this huge, hulking, demon -y creature comes out, and his name is Amon. I'm going to call it Amon. Maybe it's Amon. I don't know. Amon sounds cooler. But anyway, he is summoned, and he wrecks these demons, and he basically just sucks himself into this kid, Akira's body. Now, mind you, our main characters, they're like in high school. I assume they're about 16, 17-ish or so. They're, they're, they're kind of young. So he takes on the form of this kid, Akira, and from there, it's just, it's just crazy because now you have like this, basically Amon is like this huge, powerful, big, badass demon. Like he's the father of like all demons, basically. Like everyone looks up to him and they envy him because he is like, just like the master. And the other demons hate it. They don't like him. He was like, apparently, I don't know, something happened where he was like not awakened for a long time. So all these demons are going wild and trying to create their own little top dog divisions and cliques and stuff. And then this Amon guy rises and is res resurrected and he's the top dog. So everyone kind of wants to take him out or they're afraid of him and need to take him out or so. So anyway, now this demon Amon is living in Akira and you kind of get to see Akira turn into this Amon guy like he's being sassy, being like really just rude and mean to people. Like he does no time for school or anybody else's issues and it's, it's kind of funny seeing his personality go from like just a nice sweet kind boy to like this guy who just really doesn't doesn't give a crap about anything really <laughs> although he does feel protective towards Miki and he's battling with it in his brain it's like Amon is like you know ooh fresh meat but Akira like in his memories he still feels that you know this is still somebody that is very precious and very dear to him so he doesn't want to ruin anything there so then just from cutting there I'm not going to give away too much of the plot but it's basically a a power struggle, you know, Amon is the top dog, he's resurrected, he's back in action, he's gonna slay all these other demons, basically, and all the other demons are going to try to just take him out, kill the boy. So that is kind of where Devilman Grimoire is, is going in that type of direction. Let's talk about the likes, the things that I did like about this manga. Um, first of all, like I said, the demon design is really, really cool. I want to show you something hopefully I can show <laughs> a little bit of something without it being showing any like nudity um I will say that there's nudity okay mostly from the women I'm not seeing any schlongs but there are boobs in this so and a lot of them so no do understand that there is a lot of grotesque stuff there's a lot of gore there's a lot of violence there's a lot of things that can really turn people away from this book because I mean hello it's called devil man what do you expect flowers and roses no <laughs> um but anyway I'm trying to see if I can show you at least some of these guys here okay so this creature here look at the design of this demon it just looks so cool so awesome let me see if I can show you what Anon looks like. He's just like this creepy, kind of interesting looking demon. Like, I want to know more about him. Anyway, big, big plus is the art of this series. I really, really, really do like it. I like that the style feels a little bit old school. You know, I like that. I feel like a lot of manga nowadays is very, very similar in terms of style, but I like that this is different. It's very refreshing. Now, there are a few things that I didn't like and I had issues with. 
with this manga for one I don't know if it's just a little bit of a feminist in me coming out but I don't understand why every female character has to be has to have all the boobs out and like I said this is definitely a manga that is geared towards men you know and every single female whether it's just a regular person or a demon you're going to see them stripped down and it's not my favorite thing to see it's not something I hate seeing but I, I kid you not every single female in this series is nude at some point which I mean some people probably love that but to me it, it turned me off in a way because it was just like okay like okay like every single person has to be nude and after I finished, that left a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth, but I kind of thought about it, and, you know, I guess some artists feel that women being, you know, topless or something, I don't know if maybe they feel that it's more of a powerful image, or maybe it makes them stronger being so exposed. I don't know. Um, also, I thought about, you know, seduction. Demons are, they're tricky, they're evil, and being a woman with the curves and the loveliness, you know, if you can seduce a man with your body, if you can distract him with whatever you've got, maybe that's a strategy. I don't know. But that is one thing to kind of be cautious with, with this book. Um, I assume that the other devil man manga and, and anime is probably definitely more of the same. So that's one thing to be a little cautious about. It did kind of rub me in a way I was like oh, okay this is this is getting to be a lot so that's one thing to keep in mind um little hints of fan service but it's not too over the top unless you consider that type of stuff to be really fan servicey um they threw in everything they really could I feel there's like one random spot in the book where there's like two women that are kissing and feeling each other up and it's just like <laughs> come on I know I'm a girl maybe maybe this stuff is maybe I'm more sensitive to seeing this type of stuff but it was just like why did that why did that happen there's absolutely no reason why they needed to put that in there and another little gripe was that the main character Miki the one I do like a lot um there's a scene where she's in the bathroom in the bathtub and obviously she's nude and it bothers me because it's like I mean these kids are in high school like does this have to be so necessary and then the thing that really annoyed me was that there was a scene where, well, I don't want to spoil too much, but she ends up getting a lot of water in her lungs, I guess, and Anon, Akira, ends up kind of helping her, and he puts her on the couch, and he's like on top of her, kind of, and I guess that I was already annoyed from the other undertones of every woman having to be nude, um that I looked at it the wrong way. I was like, okay, this is, I don't want this manga to go in this way, and it's going that way. But, I mean, nothing happened. But then I talked to my boyfriend, who also read the manga, and he's like, honey, what do you do when someone's drowning? You have to give them CPR. And I'm like, oh, okay. Okay, like, maybe I looked at that wrong. Anyway, I didn't really care for that aspect of it. And another thing that I found with this manga is that um, I don't know if it was just that I got a bad print of it, or if this was the artist artist's personal style, but there were a few panels that were kind of cut off at the bottom. Let me see if I can find it. This is published by Seven Seas, but let me find a panel where it does that. I did not like that at all. I don't know if that was his art style or just something a little wrong with the copy I got, but it did not look good. For instance, I don't know if you can see that, but he's saying, he makes a noise, to an annoying something. I, I can't read that. So I don't know what happened. It might have just been my book. This looks really unfinished at the top. Like, what is that? I don't know. There was just some oddities with a few of the pages in the manga. So... I do have to point that out because I don't think it should really be looking like that. Anyway, all in all, my honest opinion of Devil Man G Grimoire is that it was it was good. I liked it. The story 
was good. It was entertaining. You got your action. If you want a lot of action, it's there. If you want a lot of blood, it's there. If you want a lot of killing, it's there. Um, but it doesn't cut the story too, too short. I thought the story was pretty interesting. Um, I just don't know if it's the manga for me. Like, I love blood, guts, and horror, but I don't know if I really liked this all that much. Um, again, it was, a, it was a good manga, but it didn't really leave me with the feeling of like, yes, can't wait to read the next one. So for that, I just have to kind of give it an okay rating. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and have to give it a B minus. It was, it was interesting. I thought some of the, I don't want to say eroticism, but you know, there were a lot of boobs going on and again, I don't really mind it, but it took away, it made me feel a certain way and Anything that makes me feel a certain way, I'm just not going to be like, yes, a good book when I feel a little uncomfortable with it. Um, it, it, it was an okay volume. I wouldn't say you have to go out and read it. I wouldn't say that it's anything that left a big impression on me, but it did make me think again, like, oh, you know, I got to see it from the artist standpoint, you know this is his style, this is the Devil Man series, like, I'm either gonna like it or I don't like it, and I feel like I'm kind of in the middle. Um, I know that Devil Man Crybaby has been out on Netflix, and a lot of people have been like, it's so good, I love it, or they've been like, no, I can't do it, it's too much. So, I don't know, maybe I'll check out an episode of that on Netflix. Um, like, again, I did like the action and the fighting and stuff, so maybe this is something that might translate a little bit better for me in anime, form versus the manga so yeah I don't know I'll just have to check it out I do think it was it was a pretty good book um if you have the chance to pick it up that's fine there's a lot of good like stuff happening in the one little volume that I think it's definitely worth the cost um but yeah so that was my first experience with Devil Man and I thought it was okay <laughs> um so yeah leave your comments down below let me know if you read it or if you want to read it or what you've thought about it so yeah Bye!